comforts and their convenience. Like, what are people going to think if I have three family members and I have three cars? How is it going to look to the neighbors? It's a whole different kind of thing that gets scary for people. But it actually turns out that everyone here has the same needs as everyone else. And everyone gets a little afraid and everyone's a little nervous. And, and you know, people change their habits gradually and no one dictates you must change your habits right away. Thanks for inviting us to do it. make out of gourds. We've got night lights and these are, well you could call it a piggy bank but it's not a pig. It's more like a snake that swallowed a football or something. And uh, here's some vases and they have flowers from the Bread and Roses CSA in there. And this is one of my very most recent creations. It, this is um, two gourds for the shade and of course a gourd here. And um, I grow gourds in the backyard. Did you take a film of the back? You should, you should really see the backyard. So as we as we continued to look, and I looked with the telephoto lens of my camera, I noticed that they became more distinctive, and there was an archway that that was visible. And so as I asked about them, I was told that there was there were the ruins of a 15th century church, and it was one of the first settlements by the Spanish in the area. And so we decided that the next morning we would take some water and we would try and walk across the valley.
this day, Spirit, thank you for this day. Thank you for this day, Spirit, thank you for this day. like to thank you for joining Tree here in this north field as we begin to inhabit this beautiful hilltop along with the other two neighborhoods here at the village. We'd first like to, as we begin to understand ourselves joining wider and wider circles of relation, um, acknowledge that Tree comes as the third baby of the village. Uh, we're born of the village. We're born of a 20-year vision that has been held here um, in the visionaries and in the lives that have been lived here by so many people. He is a wisdom figure who has addressed international groups, including the United Nations. He's a grandfather. He has served as a prison chaplain for the Native American privilege, uh, prisoners in New York State. And he has been instrumental in recovering and transmitting the Mohawk language to future generations. Above all, he is a friend and a keeper of the fire. Uh, when we begin now today, uh, I wanted to first explain it to you all that um, when I came here this morning, we, we never do tobacco burning, which we're going to do today. Usually we do tobacco burning only our people, never outside. But when I drove here and I came in this morning and I got close to this land, I felt a difference right away between the town people and this land. It was almost like as if you're going swimming in the ocean and there's a cold water and then all of a sudden you get a comfortable, pleasant, warm water when I came close in here. And then when I drove in here, I seen young guys directing car and telling me where I should go. All very pleasant, very welcoming. Then I look at the buildings, how they are together. Then Pete, uh, Peter start to tell me a little bit. And I became very happy. Because that's what the world needs. Is that kind. That's how the Creator wants us to live. With oneness of mind. Taking care of each other's. And where children will feel free. And when the children feel free, then elders we feel free too. So that's why I said these people are real human beings. <laughs> they are trying to become a really good human beings. With what they've done, it's miraculous. And so it came in my head, I'm comfortable. I don't have to be suspicious. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to bring my sacred tobacco, just like it was right at home with my grandma and grandpa. Mm -hmm. That's how much I will say right now. for the tree neighborhood to thrive as part of this beautiful community. I always wish that I'd live long enough to 
see uh, peace on the earth and, and just maybe, just maybe uh, it'll happen. Flourish with all the fruits of the land and may our hearts open to the love that is in this circle. I want to speak a special gratitude to Tom Porter, Mohawk Elder of the Bear Clan. Thank you so much. I think we all feel honored to have been part of this circle, this circle of life. And my prayer is that the love and the music and this sense of sacredness radiate out from this circle and that it touch hearts in ripples that go out and out and out. All our minds are one. Yeah. Yes! yes.